Chess friends, how are you? You may know that Magnus Carlsen beat me at chess when I was playing without a queen yesterday, but the truth is that, I willingly let him win, which is why I decided to play against 10 different Magnus Carlsen bots together, you will face many defeats in life, but never let yourself be defeated, so let's go. I started the game with e4, 7 years old Magnus Carlsen responded with c5, we have knight f3, and here, different ages of Magnus bots want to play different opening moves. Such as e6, d6, knight f6 or knight c6, but we have top rated move d6 by Magnus Carlsen age 29, d4 and we have center exchanges on d4 square, instead of taking the pawn with knight, I decided to activate the queen in the center square, they played knight c6, you can play bishop b5 to pin the knight to the king, but I want to play a complicated tricky game with them to show off my attitude that even 10 Magnus Carlsen is nothing to me, queen d3 and some want to play g6, grunful defense, some want a6. But we have the best move e5, I played c4 with the knight of putting the knight behind the pawn to activate in the center square with two pawns support, in the future, the rook will get the c file to access, you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose, so they choose to play knight f6 followed by knight c3 bishop e7 bishop to d2, age 17 wants to play a6 again, 28 wants bishop g8, some want castle but we have knight b4 by top rated Magnus Carlsen to target the queen, queen d7 or e3 will block the pieces lines so I decided to play queen b1, blocking the rook line but it will help my structure to develop in queen side with more frequently, if he can create problems for me. Then I can turn the problems into my opportunities, castle, short castle and we have bishop d7 rook d1, h6 h3 b6 bishop goes to e3 rook b8 a3, ok, some monkey Carlson want to play knight c6, but that outpost isn't worthable for black, so we have best move by stockfish subscriber Magnus Carlson age 30, before knight c7 queen c2 and we have knight e6, look at the knight, knight is the most tricky politician in chess, he traveled all the board in queen side. He moved his knight too often which gave me the opportunity to upgrade my queenside army and free up space for the queen, the secret of success is to do the common thing uncommonly well, which is why I played knight h4 to go to the f5 square to pressure the bishop and create some possible threats to kingside, we have bishop c6 knight f5 and I want to play knight d5, but they played rook e8, so I changed my plan and played c5 to make my pass pawn, yes you heard right. I will create my pass pawn on the middle of the game, because I am stockfish, the god of chess universe, because the pawn can't take it because it's pinned, we do see here knight d4, bishop takes pawn takes and I played c takes d6, both pieces are hanging, if you dare to take my knight with your stupid pawn. Then I will play knight takes e7 check, king h8 knight takes c6 to fork the queen, queen run away then I will win up the rook, you killed my knight and my another knight killed all your pieces, never be overconfident when your opponent is stockfish, you can make 10 blunders in chess and I can make 10 brilliant moves in chess, that's enough to say, you are a donkey, like the Magnus. Magnus is less stupid than you, so he played bishop f8 to maintaining the pressure to the pawn, we have rook takes d4 and, look at my past pawn, it is supported by the rook and the another rook is coming to the d-file, the knight is creating much pain for Magnus, e5 is a another threat, what is happening in Magnus Carlsen army now? Some Magnus want to play g6, some want to play queen a5 but we have the better move queen d6, so I played knight e3 to re-rotate the knight to support these squares for my pawns, my knight bringing red carpet for my pawns, we have g6 by full Magnus Carlsen army, they doesn't know that my knight will not go there again, knight c4 and I am totally seized the center squares, 200 elo players would not see it, Magnus plays knight takes e4, knight takes, and we have bishop g7 to x-raying the rooks, rook to d1. Here if you take the rook with bishop, let me show you the variation, then after doing some exchanges on center, we will see this position where I will get two pieces and a pass pawn and I am totally winning the game, and chess friends. If you want to become like me and defeat Magnus Carlsen, then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, back to the position, we have bishop a4, adding extra pressure to the queen and rook, 
any move by the queen will lead to a dangerous situation for you. So in this position, I decided to play my 4000 elo brilliant move, knight e5, to target the queen, everything hanging, the queen is hanging, the knight is targeted by the rook and bishop, let me cover these variations one by one, if you take the knight with bishop, to target the rook and the queen, then I will capture the bishop, queen takes. Rook takes, at the end, I will get an extra knight, so back to the position, we have bishop takes c2, knight takes takes, rook takes d4, rook goes to b1, king h2, rook d8 bishop e3, rook d1 knight to e5 and we have another material exchanges on e3, I am completely winning here, 10 Magnus Carlsen lose the game by my single 4000 elo tactic, now enjoy the game with my beautiful piano music. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.